Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing this cute little treat holder. It is a mailbox treat holder. It is so adorable. I love this one. This is not my original idea. I saw a picture on, on Pinterest and there was no video or no instructions so I just took the picture and created this on my own. But um, I do give credit to Allie, and it, her site, it said Latinos Arts and Crafts on it. Latinas Arts and Crafts. So um, if you want to look hers up, you can look it up. Um, it was on Pinterest, and so I thank her for the idea because it's super cute. I did make it my own, of course, but um, the idea was so, so cute. So this is what we're going to create today so let's go ahead and get started with it you're going to need two pieces that are two and a half by four and a quarter so I'm using real red for this and this cardstock Stampin' Up! has the best cardstock I love their cardstock so then um, you're going to need to mat this and oh let's do the inside of the box first for the inside you're going to need a piece that's six and a half by five and a quarter I'm also using the from my heart designer series paper of course I love this paper you know if you follow me that I love this and we are using these pieces right here we're going to use two and these are to mat it that are two and a half by two and a quarter then you're going to need two that are one and three eighths by two and a quarter so um, you're going to also need a piece of scrap, Whisper White, and a piece of scrap that is Flirty Flamingo. This is for our stamping and for our little envelope. And I'm also created the envelope that we're putting on the front, and this is three quarters by one inch. And then I am also using the Be Mine Framelits, and I, uh, I didn't have to cut any out because I have a bunch I've already cut out, but I'm just using these little hearts again, and that's um, for the little envelope and for the top of the box. But um, <laughs> I love this, and I've used it a lot this, this Valentine season, so that's what I'm using for the little hearts. All right, let's get started with this. Let's go ahead and just create the sides of our box here. I'm also using for this our layering circles and our uh, stitched rectangles, which are these two right here. I'm using the second largest on here, and then um, I'll tell you the, this is, the inside of it is two and three quarters, and then this one, I think, is one and a quarter I measured. Yeah, the inside's one and a quarter. And then for the candy, I, I'm using our three by six um, cellophane bags, which are food safe. So I really like that about these. So let's bring the big shot up here and let's get started. Now we're going to cut these both at the same time, and then we'll have two of the exact same um, size pieces. So what we're going to do here, make sure these are even when you do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our circle and we are going to put that all the way to the top and make sure your side, the spaces here are about even. I can't see perfectly, but hopefully they are. And then I'm going to just stick a piece of sticky note there just to make sure it stays in place. I'm going to just line this up here. I don't think I have it even. I need to really stand up to do this, but there we go. I think that's pretty good. So then you're just going to take this and you're going to line it up right to the edge, right to where it starts to gap there, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> you don't want to cut the whole thing. You just want to cut the top part. So we have these, and I'm just going to trim that. So, oops, that little nub's not there. And then you are going to also, 
I like to put a sticky so we'll make sure they stay together there. Then we're going to run this one through. And make sure these sides are e equal on both sides here. I should have moved it up, but that's all right. We're going to just go ahead. I should have sticky that too, but I'm hoping it's going to stay there. All right, let's send that through. You can stick a sticky note on there too because you want to make sure that they stay together. This part is really easy. I think I'm making it look a little bit more difficult, but there's your the bottom of it. All right, let's get that off. So there you have your two pieces, the front and the back of the of the mailbox. See, it's not hard at all. <laughs> all right. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the box part, and we're going to score it. So again, this piece is six and a half by five and a quarter. So on the six and a half inch side, we're going to score it at two and a half and four and then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one and a half and three and three quarters and that's it all right so now we need to cut this so we're going to cut up each one of these And do that on the same at the other side. This box is really easy. And then we're going to sharpen our score marks here. Always remember to sharpen your score marks really good. And then we're going to use some wet glue. And you're just going to bring these up. Make sure you got them even. All right, and then we are going to actually add these to the front of our box here like that. So, we're going to put this one on first. And then I'm going to flip this over. Make sure that you have these on straight. And then we're going to do this side. Isn't this easy? <laughs> I think it's pretty easy. And I'm going to make sure I have it straight here. so that it will stand up. All right, so that is that. Let's go ahead and start decorating. Let's go ahead and stamp. And make sure those are flush there. Let's go ahead and stamp our pieces. So we are going to use the Happy Valentine's Day and some Flirty Flamingo. We are using the bundle, um, the punches that go with the heartfelt bundle, so we're using the whole bundle on this. I need to re-ink my Flirty Flamingo, it's getting low. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to punch this with our regular heart punch. And then I'm going to use the scalloped one, and I'm just going to punch a scalloped heart with that. We're going to put these together. And then I'm going to show you how I do the little envelope. Stay still on there. Get that on there straight. One good thing about wet glue. All right, and now for the 
envelope, what we're going to do is I just took this piece of flirty flamingo and I just took a corner and I lined it up here and I just cut straight across. just to get my envelope top and then attach that I need my take your pick tool for these little things my fingers don't want to work and then I'm just gonna cut there and if anything hangs over just clip it off And I'm using my Stampin' Write marker and I'm using the fine tip right here. And I'm just going to go around the edges just to make a little bit of stitching here. And then around the envelope so that it looks doesn't just look plain white. All right, I'm going to grab one of those little hearts, and I'm going to use a red one on the top of this one. This is my glue that's running out. Here's my other one. <laughs> Need to grab that. This one's the newer one. I think it's just stopped up. There we go. All right, we're going to take that little red heart and put it right in the center there and that's our little envelope right there so we have everything there and then I have two of these little hearts right here and I'm actually going to write be mine on them I'm going to put B on this one and then mine on this one And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mat these. So we're going to mat this here. And then we're going to mat the other piece. sides. I haven't seen one like this so when I saw this I thought it was so adorable. I really wanted to recreate it. So I hope that you enjoy it. Alright so then we're going to go ahead and add our heart. little envelope we're gonna pop that up we're gonna put our little hearts up at the top here And then we're going to just use a, dimen a dimensional for our little letter here. And that is it. I guess I need to move this down because it's getting in the way of our valentine. Alright, so there you have it. Here's the other one. Just add your favorite candy to it put it inside and you'll be ready to go. It's so cute and really not hard at all to cre create. So I hope you enjoyed it everyone. If you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamora.com and shop for my blog. I hope you all have a blessed one and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later everyone. Bye!